Okay, so we're back. Um, so I'm going. I was going pretty quick to the maps, so I'm just kind of cruising through the map right now. I seen this planet right here. Let me show you where the sun starts coming in. We are looking south at Centralia. Centralia. But you could see the roundness coming down. You say, "Well, it's just clouds in Alaska, Chris. It's a fisheye cam, Chris. It's um, I've heard it all." But anyways, you got east, sun coming up, right? That's what you think, you hope. And then boom, it's over here, moving. Something dark right there. You can't make this stuff up. There's no filters. Before I show you some filtering, I'm going to show you this. Pretty cool. So, you know, you say, okay, that's the base of the planet out to is right above, just like, you know, just like Samuel's showing us, the base of our two. Remember, this stuff is in front of the sun, so this is like, and then you look at this right there, and you say, wow, what is that? <laughs> I know. And the next picture, now, not missing any pictures, but then see how they start taking the pictures out? So we're in the south, not even the east yet. We're in the south, the sun came up. I'm sorry, I was saying east. So there you go, sun came up in the south, right? I think this is a cool, revealing planet right here. Let me just oversize it. I'm not going to try to be in a hurry. I'm just explain this stuff to you guys. I mean, you guys are really wanting to know. Come back for more every day. But you can see, you see how dark it is, guys? Oops, wrong. You see how dark it is? You can see the edge of it. This is on two, I believe. Okay, so what else is in here? Got me. You have to just keep looking and discovering. There you go. You kind of go through these, you can see. You know, it's pretty familiar to all the skies in Alaska because it's such a wide level of range. The fisheye helps see the roundness of what's really going on. It doesn't make the planets round. It enhances its already roundness that's coming down. Can't make it up. See? Now, see how dark it is? And where's the green coming from? That's Nepicity. Let me show you the map. Hang on. Okay, I found my map. So let me show you a little bit about R2. See how R2 dips down? This is a great illustration. See how it's popcorn balls? When I first started doing this, you didn't see any of this. You would see clouds, but you wouldn't see clouds in this shape. Um, so here's our two's moon. This is the most prevalent you're going to see. This one is smaller, but it's coming down, but it's actually pretty big. Uh, here's another one. Now, some of you guys are seeing what looks like second and third suns, but they're actually illuminating asteroids. And why are they illuminating? Because the sun is reflecting on them. They're in weird shapes and I've seen them enough to know they are very real. Okay, I got this capture of a Facebook and I still haven't filtered this yet. But anyways, going back to what I was saying, it is one of the most, uh, find the most current update. Anyways, you guys think about that green planet I've been showing? What do you think that was? I don't know. Here's your October view of our two's moon. It's more to the left of the sun. I'm seeing this lead object everywhere. Right in the middle of the day, it just comes down and goes back up. But, um, let me see. I found the current. Here's November. Let me show you November. See how two moves over? I see in October, this one was really a little lot of red. See, the green is Nepicity and the, the white is our two. That's October. Now, here's November. Our two's moon got huge. This one's still pretty big. These objects getting huger. The green, the purple from our two. Then of course you got uh, Nibiru is blue, and it's probably reflecting a lot of the purple from our two because it's bluish purple. Um, see how it just covers the back side of the backdrop, and you'll see this stuff in front of it. Now yesterday I actually saw the whole system come in, and I was able to catch it from the start of it. Um, so you're going to see stuff like this is going to have a, you'll see how two come down, 
that's, that's pretty big, you know, that's pretty big, guys, um, you know, Alaska, Mexico, you see stuff like that, and you're also going to see stuff like this, this is off a new, uh, Facebook news, um, see how it came down, now this is just those finger clouds, also, I think I caught yesterday, um, Texas Cube, which is saying it's a ship. <coughs> this is Australia 2020 of August. Um, here we go. This is, now this is for the 12th month. See how big A2 is? See A2 is behind it and the is behind that. So you see a lot of green on the outside edges. Okay. And you got yellow moon. You got the sun squeaking in there, skull, debris, OCG, the red, you're starting to see this red planet now, and red dust, and just dirt guys, let me show you some of that dirt, and I like this illustration, this is from 4 something, but he shows you the Texas cube, lead object, and then this um, side orb, who knows what that is, I see orbs all the time, I don't even pay attention. Um, I've caught stuff like this in the clouds and I've brought it out. But also, um, the lens flare we had the other day was not just your normal lens flare. I think we were looking at a planet like I showed this morning and did dehaze it. But um, I think it's more than a lens flare, I think there's a planet. It's just sucking off the atmosphere. Crazy. Okay, back to Altu's moon. Let's go to something more far. Current. You guys doing okay out there in France, Italy? How you guys doing out there? France and Italy. And this was a perfect picture of Altu's moon coming down. This is the lead object, and I didn't realize so much as this was Altu. Here's Istum right there, guys. I was showing you and right up in here is you got you know all kinds of debris and objects again this is like a lesson on R2 so you guys can see correctly so R2 is the white one the purplish you know that's R2 it's R2's moon okay so if I was to mark that out for you and then show you the picture lead object it's got stripes okay um, Right here you got Atu. Right here you got Istum. Somewhere in here. I think it's Istum. Okay, and then you got your objects that are in all that. Okay, so let me show you. We'll bring it back to that illustration we had. It's November. Let me see. It's really matching up to November's, right? Look at that. And what was that picture? Was that picture taken? That was in November. Perfect. Wow. And that's Rebecca from Facebook. You see the green, the purple. Everything's a little bit different, but you know, pretty much the same. If we go over here, let's get rid of that. If we go over here, you see all kinds of stuff. It's just huge. See all the debris in the bottom here? Okay guys, we're on the nine, nine minute mark. You guys know it's Christmas and I'm asking for tips to pay my bills for the internet cable and stuff. And uh, so PayPal's in the description. Are you guys keeping your eyes open, watching and praying? There are dragons in the sky, right? This is over Maryland. Uh, Jason caught this. And why I show this guy, this is real. It's a completely real cloud. You see the face and the feet because we fight not against flesh and blood. Remember all the wars and all the political stuff and all this stuff going on is spiritually activated first. So in the heavens there's a war going on and these dragons that are coming down, these are real. You're going to see stuff like this. You're even going to see the good angels, the, the holy angels come down and start preaching the gospel soon. But right now we're seeing the angels, the fallen angels, fallen ones right here. This tells you how to pray over Maryland. Washington DC area the dragons trying to take our country let's not let them pray 